Hi, my name is Elizabeth Morris and I'm one of two social workers who works at the Center for Fetal Diagnosis and Treatment at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. We provide services, care, prenatal care and postnatal follow-up for women and families carrying a fetus who is expected to have life-threatening or life-limiting congenital anomalies. Needless to say, it's very serious work. A great deal of the women come from all over the United States, and part of the treatment is that they need to relocate closer to the hospital at certain intervals in the pregnancy, usually at least 34 to 36 weeks prior to delivery. The COVID pandemic has been absolutely earth shattering um, in terms of the resources that we have been able to access for our families. Typically, we would be able to place families in any one of the two Ronald McDonald houses. Uh, unfortunately, many of them closed. And during this time of great uncertainty, we turned to the host for hospitals. They've always been there for us, providing unbelievable relocation services for our families. But during the pandemic, they went the extra mile to find private dwellings for our families to relocate. Obviously, the coronavirus made the traditional host family uh, not a reality for our families. Even now that the Ronald McDonald houses are reopened, there are still strict limitations and many of our families are still unable to relocate. We continue to rely on the host for hospitals for their creativity, for their expansive networking, for their compassion for our families that have no other choice. And for that, we are grateful. We always hope that there will be more families willing to participate and assist all people who need to relocate to the Philadelphia area for care. In our situation with families needing to relocate for care for their unborn child with an eye towards their existing children, it's really a unique niche. The ability to call the host for hospitals and get an immediate response has been indescribably powerful. I only hear from our families how fortunate they feel. One of the greatest assets of the host for hospitals is that they are not limiting the number of people that can come and support our families through this process. The other situations where we generally refer families understandably have a limit because they're institutional settings. And for many of our families, relocating for week after week is, is not possible to do with just one support person. The cost savings that our families experience by being able to stay at a host home is also incalculable. Most of our families do not have the resources to stay in an apartment or in a hotel. They just don't. Their expenses at home do not go away. So on behalf of the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia Center for Fetal Diagnosis and Treatment, I continue to be grateful um, be thankful and take my hat off to the Host for Hospitals program and for all the hosts who have been nothing but extending of warmth and resources. Thank you so much.